My Heavenly Father said he. They are the all-powerful, most high God. They already told you to come here. Come here, come here, come here. Get away from them evil, filthy mother blood suckers. You hear me? Can't live for the streets. Can't live for the majors. Can't live for these connections that you did not, that you did not, that you did not mess up. Because somebody else want to be out here, you know, on the, on the bullshit and sinning. You know, you did those sins already. You already, you already had the ungodly counterparts in your life, that energy, you know what I'm saying? You feel like it cursed your life already. You you learned from your mistakes. You, you, you know, you're still trying to right your wrongs. And it's people who, who has witnessed you in the past, in your heyday, being hell on wheels is what I'm hearing. Folk and witness you, you know, try to unass the shit brick road. Folk and witness you, you know, jump back, you know, up off the porch too. But I'm feeling like you, you, you didn't have several seats and you behaving that way too. And it's all these creepy, carly, karmicky ass activities that's creeping up into your life through these, these interactions that you have is what I'm hearing is because these karmics is following you everywhere you go. Because you in plain sight, got them minutes with the Jesus saying, because your light so got darn bright. Your light so got darn bright. Yeah, shine on. And it, it, and you know what I'm hearing? Well, it's dark where I am. What time is it? It is 9-11, y'all. It's 9-11, Friday, November 24th, Eastern Standard Time. Yes, gobble, gobble, y'all fool. Y'all still eating on that turkey. Somebody a jive turkey. Jive, 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 Clyde. You hear me? Clyde, somebody was rooting or, or betting on FanDuel, too. And it's like, I'm hearing something about somebody want you to be their lucky charm or something. They feel like you're their lucky charm, too. But they just want to siphon on your energy and drain your energy. You probably been drinking a bunch of water or you need to drink a bunch of water, but you need to. You do. Don't get the big head. People are just jaw dropping when they look at you and it's like I'm hearing something like the walking dead. Wherever you at, everybody acting the same. Everybody acting the same. It's like it's in the water, I say, when men be acting Fickle and feminine and needing a box of tampons some penny liners and tamp and goddamn, you know, you know what I'm talking about? It's a covenant, you know, that you already took part in, though, and that's for you to bear up your cross and bear up some other folks' cross, too. But then you, you got to know when motherfuckers done dishonored you, betrayed you, and been disloyal and took your kindness for weakness, too. Just because you a servant, you know what I'm saying? Just because you a servant of most high God don't mean you got to be a servant of everybody else. It's a thin line between MF and love and hate. Don't harm my prophets. You something like a prophet, a prophetess. You, do you hear me? People praising you. They are. They praising you. They praising you because you didn't help them right they wrong. They happy that you done got up off the shit brick road. And some of them ain't going to never tell you that shit because the answer about to be in this reading. You probably wanted to lay hands on these people, too. The answer going to be in this reading. It's going to make you strong. I don't know if you right-handed or left-handed or if you ambidextrous. They cannot touch you. They, they want to, you know... Find a soft spot in your back, want to hug and love on you so they can see, you know, just how vulnerable you are and if they can stick the final nail in the motherfucking coffin. Then you got some people who didn't drink a whole jug of haterade. I'm here in the past. That haterade, you know, had some red dye in it. <laughs> they would see it. They would see your red. They was pissed. They was passionate about warning people not to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? They included you in all type of fucked up ass energy. But you stronger than that. That could have been a part of your past. You stronger than that. Don't nobody want to recognize, analyze, and realize that you served the shit brick road already and you knew when to unass it. Knowing the fold them. 
No when to run away. No when to run. Yeah. Yes. This is an aspect of your world right now when you're supposed to be the magician and not letting nobody be a magician in your world is what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing, you know, you contemplating, you know, whether or not your spiritual chain been dropping jewels. Somebody, something about June, too. Somebody's name could be June. I'm hearing something about a June book, too. But something about, you know, whether or not you perceive those messages, those jewels that they've been trying to drop. You hear me? Something's supposed to be tickling your tummy right now. No, not because you ate Cheerios for breakfast, you know. You done pissed in somebody's Cheerios. Y'all heard me say that saying? You done pissed in somebody's Cheerios early o'clock in the motherfucking morning. They thought about something that you said to them, and it's laying heavy on their mind. It's laying heavy on their mind. So we're going to see just, just, just what it is. <laughs> because you doing your thing, baby. You doing your thing with this Eight of Pentacles. You hear me? Yes, that Eight of Earth. My bad, Joe. My bad, my bad, my bad. This is the good tarot deck. But do you hear what I said? You doing your thing. You, you are. You doing your thing, but you got to... It's something when it comes to you mastering your emotions, too, because the G says you, you, you lightweight the master yourself. You learning more about you. They they giving you some upgrades too is what I just heard because it's, it's something that you skilled in and you you could have been awkward at at one point in time. You know you probably didn't know how to co-create whatever it is that you were beginning. Something that you are passionate about though that red that color red it, it, you're passionate about this endeavor is what I just heard. It's, it's, it's something it's a, something about a song, a melody, a melody. Somebody's name could be Melody, too. Somebody's name could be Melody. Messenger of Water. You yourself. Somebody wrote a song about you. Somebody, you know, when they think of this song, you hear me? When they think of this damn song, all they can do is think of you. They want you to fall in love with yourself. You don't already fell in love with this person. This is somebody from your past. You hear me? This is somebody most definitely from your past. I'm hearing too. When it comes to some knowledge that they gained about you. They weren't even looking at you like you was, you know, the biggest fish in the pond. They was like, shit, it's, more, it's plenty more fish in the goddamn sea. They was looking at you like the ugly seahorse. Like, I could do better. Like, I could do better. Ooh, like, I could do better. Oh, what up? But now they, they singing a different song. They are. The song that they singing is, you know, I do not, hey. <laughs> Love. They never knew what they was missing. They gonna call you. They gonna try to romanticize you. This this person is very charming. You know, uh, at one point in time I'm hearing, you feel like you had accomplished something when it came to a union with this person, when it came to a connection with this person. It could have been a job as well. You know, you feel like you accomplished something. But it's like it was a task. It was a task, kind of hard for you. And but your confidence, your confidence never wavered. Though I'm feeling like this, this phone call too is something that you want. It's something that you desire. You didn't practice a bunch of, a bunch of. I'll say intimate times with yourself. Okay. I think the end of this connection was was the first step of you really starting to love on yourself and fall in love with yourself. This person, you it's like, you know, you looked at this person to make you whole or something. That's what I'm hearing because it, it was a lot of ways that this person was passionate, a lot of ways that this person showed you 
um, that they wanted to be in your life. And then I'm hearing this, it's like the record scratched. The record scratched, but somebody is wanting to love on you a little bit further. <laughs> a little bit further. They want to go a little bit further down the road, but this person has veered up off of a shit brick road is what I'm hearing. It's a phase that they're going to say that they went through, a phase that maybe you two went through. And I'm feeling like, you know, this person feels like you, look, feels like you you are like their love guide. <laughs> You're their love guide. New moon in Libra. New moon in Aquarius. Those can be placements in your chart. They could be placements in this person's chart. Sun, moon, and rising. I'm hearing it was easy. It was easy to, you know, fall in love with one another. But it was it was kind of strange. Something something when it comes to the way both of what makes both of y'all tick. What, mo what, what makes both of y'all tick? How y'all service one another is what I'm hearing. What made both of y'all tick? It came in many forms. I feel like one of y'all gave the other a, a, a course in ethnic training and somebody knows a lot about law and the judicial system. And I feel like Y'all connection could have started, you know, I don't know. Maybe some um some type of reformative area both of y'all was in. Y'all came y'all came across one another's paths, I'm hearing, because both of y'all spiritual team was very assertive. Something when it comes to a code too. A code. A legal code. A legal code or a code that y'all have between one another is a code. Look, <clears throat> new moon. Y'all been around each other many moons, but I'm feeling like it's been a separation. It's been a separation. And this separation I'm hearing has guided both of you to feel a little bit differently about one another. Um... Somebody was on some demon time. And whoever that person was, they showed the other one that, you know, they, they had no fear about being blasphemous. They wasn't shameful about nothing in their life that they was doing. But I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know, it was a lot of lies to be told between the two. Because even though it was a lot of passion there, in the beginning, it was real awkward. Because one of y'all was looking at one another like I could do better, but let me see what's going on. But you see this crown right here? Somebody recognizing, analyzing, and realizing something is like, baby. Somebody could have been 24. Somebody could have been 24. Something happened to them when they was 24 or something. With this new moon card, something, you know, pertaining to the beginning stages of love is what I'm hearing. You made this person forget about the past. There's something that's manifesting between the two of you. And the G's want you to know that it's a new start that's about to happen. And right now, it's a very magical time. Right now, it's a very magical time. I don't know which one of y'all bid it the other ado. But y'all y'all pierce one another's soul with this no contact is what I'm hearing. Look, with this no contact. New moon and Gemini. Communication. I heard the communication was through. <laughs> through. Through and through. When I say it was through, it wasn't enough communication. It wasn't enough communication. And... Y'all would run through topics that, that y'all both, um, I'm feeling like y'all y'all needed to set some intentions on. Y'all need to set some intentions on because y'all, one of y'all was, 
I'm hearing one of y'all was able to read the other a little bit more. This person about to come up and start flirting with you again. It's, it's something when it comes to the past. In the beginning, this person felt as though you could have been dealing with someone differently. This person could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, or that could be you. This person could also be an air sign or a water sign. But I'm hearing something when it comes to this water in this email. It's, it's going to be an email. There's a Gemini involved, and the communication is about being out and about. Somebody been real gossipy, and it's, it's, it's like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's like a picture that somebody else is drawing when it's pertaining to you to get somebody to fuck up out their hookup. You hear me? I'm talking about to get them all the way up out of their hookup because they never wanted them with you. Not that they, you know, they didn't want them with you. They thought that you were too good for them. Take this how it resonates, y'all. Y'all hear me? Take it how it resonates. But we about to see what the energy seekers have to say because I'm, I'm also feeling kind of like with this Eight of Pentacles when it comes to the beginning of this relationship. It was a perspective that you both had, right? This vision that y'all had, I'm hearing, especially when it came to everything that was new between the two of you. It was something that y'all both developed. It was y'all developed within this relationship. This relationship grew kind of quickly. You know, y'all reached the goal is what I'm seeing. Y'all acknowledge one another. And it's it's like now y'all should know better is what I'm hearing. Y'all should know better. Y'all y'all should know better. <laughs> you know what you should know? I don't know if the cross watcher is watching as well, but the cross watcher was looking at my soul game like they was that little seahorse. You hear me? The shoe's on the other foot now. The shoe's on the other foot now because that is how my soul game is looking at this person who is trying to come run back through. They trying to run back through. Awkward. They don't know how, though, because I'm here with this message of, of water. Chivalry ain't dead with them. However, look at this crown on this woman's head. She noticed she noticed man's move. This you know, this is just the image here. This is energy. This could be a man as well. It's something that's going through the divine realm and you know what's that going on the vine on the vine on the vine somebody going back and forth with somebody on social media they go that gemini there we got an aries and the um aquarius as well it's some sort of seat you know when you can pull the tab down on messenger and have a private conversation this is annoying somebody too because they're trying to make contact but it's the conversation is private. It's not open in the regular inbox, right? Somebody is thinking about the hours that they put into a connection, the energy that it took, you know what I'm saying, to even start a new connection. Not with you. Not with you. They feeling like they're not going to be able to really get close to you, but they also feel like they're not going to have to work for you. It's something that this person been trying to acquire when it comes to this secret organization. You hear me? They've been trying to gain some knowledge when it comes to you, sweetheart. They have. Because it's been a lot that's been revealed. It's been, it's been a lot that's been revealed. It's been a lot that you've said, you know, from the past that is biting them in the ass right now. Um, it's something that, had, that you said that you were aware of. They didn't believe you. And seeing was believing. Seeing was believing. It was a message. For one of these signs, it was a message and it was true. 
It was true, but this is in reverse. In a sense, somebody came together, but it wasn't, you know, for a union. It wasn't for a union. It was to organize some shit. In the reverse. But you know, it's like too, in the beginning, this person really wasn't that into you. They was freelancing. Somebody could be a sherm head too. Something happened in this hotel. Yep, something something happened in this hotel. Somebody got short hair. And I'm hearing it was someone else there who had some, some, some long hair. You probably didn't see them. You didn't see this person. There yeah, was some consequences meeting up at this hotel. Somebody just wanted to get some alone time. That's it. They just wanted to get some alone time. When no room service and with this sense of unity, it wasn't taking a stride for a happy beginning. It wasn't. Male cousin. Love chilling at home. Somebody's trying to go to a hotel party, too. This is a nasty-ass place. It's a row of hotels. It's a row of hotels. That's what I just heard. Hotel row. It's some dingy, dirty hotels, and it's some nice, upscale hotels. Mm-hmm. Look what's at the bottom. Somebody could be at the cabins or something. Some sort of vacation. Somebody trying to go, trying to get some, trying to invite somebody. It's kind of like, you know, it'd be some double dating shit. But somebody ain't double up. This is in the reverse. This hasn't happened yet. It hasn't, it hasn't gotten to my soul game. No, it, it hasn't gotten to my soul game yet. Some of you don't need to worry some of you do not need to work. But let's see what's good. Because it's a code. It's a code. It's a number code. That was my code when we had pages, when we was all using pages. Everybody knew my code was 247. 13. Somebody could have been born on the 13th. So, it's two people who's very deceptive because they're holding back. They know about this HIV positive. Yeah, they know about this HIV positive and they, they ain't saying shit. This could be their friend. This could be, this is, this, this could be their friend who knows it. A family member knows it. That this, we gonna see if it's just this, this male cousin, this or it could be a female. Somebody got some long ass weave, and somebody can't believe what the hell that they hear and either. They can't believe what they hear, and they gonna try to act like they didn't hear it though. Because then that means they full blown too. Yeah, look who's at the bottom. Five of cups. I'm hearing that song again, love, never knew what I was missing, but I knew once we start kissing. Y'all know that song. Ooh, I hate that part. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I found you. Let's see who this male cousin is. Hmm. Spirit ain't playing. Knight of Cups. Water energy. 
So with that, what I'm hearing is there has been a lot that has been said, a lot that has been spoken, a lot that has been spoken about this Knight of Cups. It's been an overflow of messages from your spiritual team. It's been some messages that you know somebody been trying to. It's been like, you know, little jabs here and there. Little jabs here and there. Little zingers amongst this group of friends, amongst this group, this family. You know, <clears throat> it is a message. You hear me? It's been a lot of zingers, man. It's, it's, it could be this water sign's demeanor, too. I'm about to try to invite you somewhere. You hear me? It could be to this hotel. These cabins. Some woman got some long ass weave in her hair, but the other woman got some short hair. Whoever this man is, it's like this woman is always thinking of this man, you know? And she's, it's like she, she, she daydreaming about this man. She be having, you know, thoughts of this man, you know, riding in like a knight in shining armor. It's this man's character though. You hear me? He is a fucking clown. There's some clown ass motherfucking activities though. This healthy relationship was in the reverse. See, the healthy relationship is supposed to be between these family members because somebody motherfucking know this shit, you know? And it's like, they keeping it from whoever this man or this woman is dating because they may not like them. But then they still, they still want to talk about it. Somebody want to talk about it. Somebody want to talk about it. They do. Somebody want to talk about it. Look at the bottom. Herman. It's been, the G's done shed some light. They done already rang the alarm. School has already been in motherfucking session. The ball ain't dropped yet. But somebody fumbled. Ooh. The ball ain't dropped yet, but somebody fumbled. So this HIV, what's this HIV about, Jeez? Hmm. The four pinnacles reverse. Somebody's trying to stop something real quick. They trying to stop this from getting to you. I know that's right. And y'all know I'm here to get you hip to what you hip to or hip you on to what you already motherfucking know. I'm just clarifying some shit. This is just parts of the motherfucking puzzle. Somebody is the goddamn opposition. And period. The ops want to invite you somewhere. The ops want to invite you some motherfucking where. They not even sure about something right now. I feel like, you know, motherfuckers ain't even sure if they in fact, for real, they not even sure. It's what, you know, somebody is trying to stop somebody from expressing freely too. They trying to stop. They trying to stop this shit from getting out. Y'all know I'm going to run and tell that, especially when y'all... This is a consequence in somebody's motherfucking actions because somebody is going to be accompanying, accompanying, excuse me, going with somebody, accompanying somebody like as a guide, you know, as a chaperone, you know, somebody sexy, somebody nice looking, you know, there's supposed to be a healing um, retreat or something, a healing uh, occasion, you know, that's how everybody else interpreting it, you know what I'm saying? But it's what's already, look at the bottom, what's already been predicted. This, this betrayal. You got some messages on the station. Go on and scroll down. Tori and Goddess, you done already missed some shit. Is what the Jesus saying when it's coming to this fucked off ass energy. Because who was this Gemini? Hmm? Who was this air sign? We saw that. That Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. 
You know, they just told me to pick this up. Somebody is in deep regret. It's because it's consequences of their fucking actions because somebody been scattering their energy. They a Lake Minnetonka diver. A thotomous time. A th- thotomous time. 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 What time was it? I said it was 911, right? Didn't I? Didn't I say it was not? That's Virgo. That's Virgo season, right? What happened? What happened? What happened? Somebody was afflicted in Virgo season with this ten of swords at the bottom. Somebody was afflicted in Virgo season. Somebody was. They 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 know they on this motherfucking shit break motherfucking road, you bastard bitches. Hold on, who got this weave? Who got this weave, jeez. Keep my baby safe, God darn it. Mm. I'm gonna take him. Eight of Pentacles. And this is a whole new day. The Hangman Reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This showing up some Earth energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, energy. And you know what I just heard? Look, with this tower card at the bottom. Don't this look like this woman's crown here? Look at that. It's about to be some shit on this retreat. It's supposed to be some couples or something. It could it could be a couple. It could be a group um, of, of, of couples as well, as well as I just heard. But looky here. So... This is this is this is the gist of this shit here. Because somebody up in age. Somebody about to have to have a babysitter. Somebody about to put they you know, ask somebody to put their animals up for them and shit. You know what I'm saying? This could be a business trip as well. Um But somebody has yet to surrender to this connection. You know what I mean? And they have yet to surrender <coughs> to this connection. You hear me? And with that healthy relationship in a reverse, this relationship isn't healthy anymore. That person isn't healthy anymore. It's been a draining of the energy. You hear me? I feel like, you know, for some of you, you've been separated from this person. I'm hoping that you still separated from this person. You hear me? Somebody go to the blood bank, too. Somebody go to the blood bank. Y'all know y'all can get the y'all can get HIV tests at the blood bank. You can go on and get that shit at the urgent care real quick. Is what the G's is saying. Somebody is staying at you know you know dating somebody because they a baller. Dating somebody because you know of what they can do for them. You know everything is allotted for is what the G's is saying. But what is not known. Is who in this hot seat? Somebody's blood is tainted. Period. The fuck point blank. Let's see what else. I hope it's still going, y'all. Let's see what else real quick. I'm feeling like too. This somebody already received this message. They received this message. Somebody know. You hear me? Somebody know. Somebody know that they got HIV. Look. Somebody know that they got HIV. Night of Cups again. Mmm. This hotel, though. This hotel is defiled. <laughs> it is. This hotel is defiled. They think the economy in. It's a long row of hotels. A long, it could be on the highway road. It could be off the, it could be off the interstate. It could be off the exit. It could be at, you know, the, the, at the exits away is what I'm hearing. But ain't nobody hanging in suspended air because somebody even got these fucking results. And they staying in this goddamn connection because of what somebody can do for them and how they can make their life better when it comes to financial and material gain. Mm, 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 mm. So 
Texas Woods. Yeah. They're going somewhere. They they trying to invite members of my soul game with them. At Gemini Libro Aquarius. Yeah. And somebody and look. The three of pentacles just fell out. Somebody hate like they wait, they putting on a cape. You hear me? They putting on a cape. They are. They trying. I'm hearing too, you know. Damn. I'm hearing that they trying to resuscitate a connection with you because they feel like they don't have to work hard to, you know, have sex with you and, you know, that you would like some skin to skin contact because you think that's magical sex and shit. You hear me? Three of Pentacles. It's something that, that this person is known for. It's something that you known for as well. It's, it's, it's a memory, though, that you should have when it comes to this person. And it's, it's a point of contact that y'all already had. It could be at this hotel. It's with the Jesus saying. Nothing. 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 Nothing is worth doing unless consequences may be serious. It ain't time to slip off the Jimmy hat. Ten of Cups. It ain't time to slip off the Jimmy hat. Somebody didn't pray and ask for guidance. They didn't. This Ten of Cups represents a divine love, but it also represents you waking up to this person. Look what's at the bottom. This is somebody trying to return Five of Cups, this water energy. Somebody trying to return to you, baby. Fuck all that shit. You know, blood ties. They could be coming by way of your family, too. They could be coming by way of your family, trying to get in good with your family. This Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy is a family card as well. So is this. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a bunch of people. I'm seeing a bunch of people. And I'm seeing this row of hotels. I don't know if they cabins. I don't know if it's a cul-de-sac area. I don't know if it's a gated community. But it's some shit that's faked in a motherfucker. And your family is involved. Your family is involved, you know? It's gonna be, look, your family is involved. I'm hearing too, you got some Kim folks who think it's amusing. I'm also hearing that these same Kim folks who think it's amusing, gonna find out some bad news about themselves when it comes to, you know, this, this goodwill hunting is what I'm hearing. Cause they out for blood for some sort of reason. And you're aligned in a different position in your life with your well-being and with your spiritual elevation and growth. Let's stay aware, okay? Let's keep our eyes open. That Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, that means for you to stay woke. Look, yeah, that means for you to stay woke. You can, you can forgive yourself, forgive this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, you hear me? Somebody is looking at somebody like they was a missed opportunity is what I'm hearing. Yeah, look. Hell yeah. Two of Cups. The Star. And Five of Swords. This Queen of Pentacles and this in this star card, they looking at this person like, damn, I really done fucked up. Now I done caught this damn disease and I know I'm not gonna be able to return. But they gonna return to you for some sympathy. And then too, with this two of cups energy, you know, they could be coming through, coming somewhere close to you. Coming somewhere close to you by way of one of your family members or some shit, making an offer. You know, to whisk you away and take you somewhere and tell you how uh, apologetic they are. You know, hoping that there's going to be some renewal. This star card also represents air energy and so does this five of spores. But just because somebody is good at what they do when it comes to getting money don't mean that they're good at being a life partner. Because you won't be number one, you won't be number two. With this five of spores, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, this person is 
is infamous for putting their hat up on all type of cold racks. This motherfucker got not just on their belt. Look, yeah, with this chariot card. This person is trying to be quick about some shit too. But the G's want you to run through their ass like they run through everything else. 